I'm a, I'm a student at C, uh, the College of Saints class, but, uh, the, the CIS program, and I'm pretty sure you know me because you are the president of the CIS club, aren't you? Correct. Yes. Um, and um, I've heard that there was a LAN, a LAN party this Friday, I mean uh, last Friday, the, the 10th. Um, why don't, I know what a LAN is, but why don't you start by telling uh, everyone what, what a LAN is? Well, a LAN, LAN party to be specific in this time, uh, is, well, LAN itself stands for Local Area Network, which is just a bunch of computers hooked up together, basically. So a LAN party, in our terms, would be a local area network where we play video games for way too long. <laughs> way too long? <laughs> way too long. Ungodly amounts of video games. Like, uh, how long does a, na a LAN normally last? Um, our LANs last about 12 hours. 12 hours. Kind of ridiculous. 6 uh, p.m. to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, how many people normally show up at a LAN party? Well, for our LANs, we usually average about 20 to 30, sometimes a bit more. Uh, big LANs can get up to three, four, five hundred people, where it's kind of intense. Uh, there are also small LANs where it's just four guys get together in their mom's basement and play D and D. So when you uh, you you run the LAN, I, as I understand, is that correct? Yeah, I am basically the network admin for our small segment of the network that is inside of another network of Saint Scholastica. Okay, so when uh, when you run this LAN, are there any obstacles or difficulties? Uh, massive obstacles. <coughs> we, uh, well, I've been dealing with the IT department pretty frequently uh, in the past couple months on how our LAN is supposed to work. Uh, we want a good segment of the network where we can have high-speed internet and basically freedom to roam. Uh, but the IT department really doesn't like that. They don't allow personal computers on the uh, educational segment of the network. So we have to be on the clean access agent, which is the ResNet, where the personal computers reside. Um, but that causes another problem because we have off-campus students coming in, and they're only allowed 20 megabit megabytes of data transfer total for per their connection. So they connect 20 megs, they have to disconnect and reconnect for it to start again. Oh wow, that's not that much. No, it's really <coughs> not very much data. Um, and that's upload and download total, not one way or the other. Oh, okay. So, but uh, do firewalls and antivirus ever pose a problem? There's been some uh, occurrences when, when you start a game, usually there's a initial firewall pop-up that asks you to allow the program through. Um, if you don't check that you want it through the, the firewall, it can block out some of the servers. So if you're not seeing the LAN server, you probably forgot to unblock it from the firewall. Um, antiviruses have caused problems in the past with <coughs> cracked games. Peer-to-peer -peer sharing. Uh, like our games move like with network sharing also. I do my backups through Steam, which are, it's just an automated system, and then I actually share that file of backups through the network. Not a lot of people use it because sometimes if you get a lot of people trying to pull the same file, it gets bogged down because the network's not very good. I mean, we don't have gigabit switches, and we have one gigabit switch, but the main one's not a gigabit switch, and then the rest of the network just sucks. Right. Now, you mentioned Steam. Like, uh, can you uh, tell the people what Steam is? Like, how does Steam work? Um, Steam is basically cloud uh, gaming source. You, you're able to buy games under a certain account and uh, download it, play it through the network. So they have their own network set up and you connect to that and then find servers through there. And then say you get a new computer or you buy something or you move to a different uh, house and you leave your computer. So some, you're not using the same computer. You're able to log into your account and see the games that you have purchased and then download them wherever you are and play them just like you were at your home. Hmm. Yeah, sounds convenient. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> have you ever tried using wireless network um, <coughs> sharing? Well, there are some, I know there there have been some lands that I've been to that use wireless networks. Uh, what they usually do is they have their switch in the middle and they have uh, like a netbook or a notebook or something that has wireless that's pretty stable. 
um, and they tether the wireless into the switch, so the network that has or the LAN has internet through this one netbook that's using wireless. Um, most of the time, the internet will get bogged down through that because you're using one connection that's most of the time 54 megabits per second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> how was the how was the LAN? The LAN was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Uh, the network setup this time went really well. It was really quick, just plugged and play, and I had a blast. I know everyone that I talked to had a blast. Mm -hmm. Same here. We've learned a lot from our past mistakes, haven't we? Yes. Like we were able to set up like this, like that instantly. <coughs> yep. And everyone got <coughs> got to play right away. Oh, well, we we had a uh, uh, Nick came in and he made a cord for us that was enough length so that we could hit the switch that I actually wanted to plug into. <laughs> Whereas in the past I'd been plugging into a switch that was not the one that I was looking to plug <laughs> into. So that was nice. And then we had the uh, fact that our facilities set up the tables for us and everything was all set up when we got there. So it was, it was perfect. Um, do you remember how long that cord was? Um, <clears throat> not a clue. Not a clue. It was just, I, I started pulling cord out. And <laughs> I didn't stop until I felt like it. I was probably 120 feet. Oh wow. Okay. So, um, any last words? Not really. Uh, piracy is bad. Piracy is bad. Don't pirate anything. That's that should be all. Then. Thank you, Alan. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. yeah. Nice talking with you. <laughs>